Hey there YouTube, what is going on? It's me again, your boy, your sweet boy, it's Ricky Boy Boy. Uh, will you please repeat it? <laughs> Welcome back to Game Time BH, and if you are new to this channel, please go ahead and hit the notification bell button, like and subscribe, and leave a comment. For today's episode, we're gonna talk about Global Chat. Bakit tinanggal si Global Chat? Meron na bang gawa sa Supercell? May pag-asa pa bang bumalik ang Global Chat in the future? So without further blah blah blah, let's go ahead and do it! Okay! Global Chat. For the benefit of the players na hindi nabutan yung Global Chat, ganito po ang itsura niya guys. One of the best options para mag-recruit ng mga bagong members sa clan Kasi nga, lahat ng messages mo rito, makikikita ng lahat ng players sa buong mundo And then maganda rin siyang pampalipas ng oras And a good way to start and greet new players around the globe Kaya lang nung around September or October ng 2019 In-announce ni Supercell that they're gonna be sunsetting global chat When you say sunsetting, is a terminology normally used When you are going to terminate or remove something In short, rest and Peace Global Chat. So, nung natanggal yung Global Chat, nag-resulta to ng napakaraming petisyon para ibalik yung Global Chat sa mga sa mga forums, communities, sa mga groups, sa mga pages. Pero wala eh. Talagang naging tahimik si Supercell sa mga hinaing na mga players sa buong mundo. At alam kong alam nyo rin to, napakaraming nag-quit nung tinanggal yung Global Chat. Pero have you ever guys wondered kung bakit nga ba tinanggal ang Global Chat? Last May, merong um, live streaming si Darian, the community manager of Clash of Clans, and Ino, the game lead. At pinag-usapan dito kung bakit, kung ano yung dalawang rason kung bakit tinanggal yung Global Chat. Pakinggan natin. But the two major reasons why we had to remove Global Chat was one, whenever there are threats of violence, like let's say someone's threatening to shoot up a school, when we get those reports, we contact the Finnish police and the Finnish police then contacts the police of those respective countries and do an actual investigation to determine whether or not that these threats are valid. So this is a very time intensive and resource intensive operation because, you know, from one end, yeah, chances are the person is probably trolling, trying to get a reaction out of the community. But us as game developers, we simply cannot take that chance that this person is trolling, this person is joking, because all it takes is one person to be genuinely serious about threatening violence. And if we didn't do anything about that, you know, we would feel partly responsible for not being able to do more to protect people, our players, and people who may be affected outside of this. So we do have a responsibility to ensure that the safety of our players and our community um, are there at all times. The second one is that, unfortunately, there are a lot of insidious people in the world, and many of them are you know, predatory upon children. And we need to make sure that we are protecting children from these predatory behaviors. So while removing global chat doesn't eliminate these evils from the world, it at least eliminates them from using our platforms to do it. And that when players play our game, they are a bit more protected and can trust that, you know, these threats of violence and predatory behavior are very, taken very, very seriously. So removing global chat was done to protect our player base, remove toxicity, uh, and provide a much more enjoyable game environment. Ayun pala yung unang rason guys no kung bakit tinanggal yung um, global chat. Yung una is yung uncontrollable, uncontrollable threats of violence. Napakarami. Bawat bawat pagbabanta like for example, bombahin ko bahay mo, barilin kita, patayin kita, gahasain kita, yung mga ganyan. Si Supercell pala ay responsable at obligadong kontakin yung local police nila. Then yung police nila is mag-iimbestiga kung totoo then kukontakin yung mga police kung saang bansa man ang galing yung pagbabantang yun then balik ulit kay Supercell and then proseso napakatagal, napakarami, napaka time consuming resource consuming pala yun kaya talagang hindi kaya and then yung pangalawa is yung child safety iniiwasan ni Supercell na maging instrumento ng kahit na anong uri ng child abuse tinanggal nila yung global chat, naglagay sila ng parang alternative na paraan para makapag-recruit ng mga bagong members. Ito yun, guys. Which is hindi naman niya ata masyadong epektibo. So, Sir Eric, ano na ba talaga? Ano ba talagang sagot? Babalik ba yung global chat or hindi na? 
Well, I'm not the right person to break the bad news. So, panoorin nyo na lang to guys. Okay? Now, we understand that global chat was used for a lot of recruiting and a lot of social interaction and we can improve it on that front. So, that's something that we are looking to improve. But global chat itself, as much as many of you guys loved it, it's in its in that form, it will not be coming back. It will not, 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 it will not be coming back. Oh, so yun na nga yun guys, no? yun na yung malungkot, masamang balita. Tinuldo ka na ni Supercell ang Global Chat. Well, ganyan talaga ang buhay, no? stay positive lang tayo. But don't worry, by the way, meron pa rin tayong good news. Watch this. I'm actually reading the, the, the YouTube chat here. Um, there, there's a, a hot topic, and it kind of shifts directions here a little bit, that I, I think is a very overwhelmingly popular topic, and I've got some things I'd like to say on it after anything you'd like to add. But, you know, since we removed Global Chat, and we've implemented the clan recruitment tool, how do we envision improving the social aspect of the game, or just future social interactions of the game? Like, Obviously, the removal of global chat, which I'll get into some aspects of that in, in a second, but is there anything that you'd like to add to that on like, what we can do to improve like the social interactivity of the game? We have been talking about this very topic of social interaction, how we make it better uh, a lot since then. Mm -hmm. There are some ideas, I think it's a bit too early to go into those uh, specifically at this point, but we are definitely thinking about it a lot. And it is something that we want to want to do something about as well. Okay. Ang Lino, di ba? On some part of the live streaming ni Darian, malino na binanggit nila na they are working on planning, working and planning on doing something to improve the uh, social interaction ng game. So, ibig sabihin, kakaroon ng panibagong means of social interaction or chat system sa Clash of Plan. Alright! That's a good news, people! Alam ko at random ko na naging malungkot talaga yung pagkawala ng global chat guys. Pero hopefully makatulong tong video na to para maging malinaw ang lahat. Well, maganda naman pala yung intention ni Supercell removing the global chat eh. Saka kailangan din natin isipin yung mga taong naapektuhan dahil sa hindi magandang unang version ng global chat na yun. And it's only a matter of time no, magkakaroon tayo ng bagong means of social interaction sa game. And I'm really excited to see that happen. Sana kayo rin, guys. So, there you go. Let's call it a day. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next episode. Once again, this is your boy, your sweet boy, Ricky Boy Po. Ciao!